Hey YouTube, just a little uh, video on the governor. Um, one of my past videos I was showing how much play there was actually in the arm. Moving, obviously, very sloppily up and down. I went ahead and um, got some replacement seals, got some parts, uh, got the springs. Um, the original felt seal apparently isn't made anymore. Um, you can probably find them some places but it has been replaced by a steel um, seal that actually has the rubber center. I actually got it from Messix. See if I can get that card in there for you. They have a couple locations. Uh, Dave was extremely helpful. I got the star washers. Uh, the one that was actually on here completely fell apart. And the seal itself, I think the seal was maybe around 12 bucks for this new style. And the star washers were like a dollar or something a piece. Um, I went ahead and got another spring and as you see here you know the spring is stretched out and slightly bent so I got the new spring to put in. I already put the new spring in the tractor itself as far as the uh, the front of the detent and the bearing in the race I got those from Steiner. I already put those in as well. This is actually the bag from the spring. Um, what I also did was, on the arm itself where the spring actually goes in, this right here was actually egged out to about here. So I went ahead and just welded the hole back up and I redrilled it with an eighth inch bit so that way when the spring goes in, it's nice and tight, no more slop. Um, so what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and start putting this thing back together and then uh, show you how it works out afterwards. So give me a second and I'll get set up. All right, so again, this was just going to be a short video, nothing special. I didn't have a lot of repairs to do inside this governor. So I went ahead and pressed the seal in. And then it actually did call for from the factory, it seems like, from what I was told, um, some kind of washer that's supposed to be in here. They call it a spring washer. Well, apparently it's not offered anymore. So I didn't want this arm touching against the side of the governor, which it was. So as you see now, it's got just a very, let's see if I can point at it, just a very minor space between here. So it didn't push the arm out any further, and it didn't bring it all the way in to the point where it's rubbing the casting. So that's actually pretty good. And then inside where the arm actually goes in, I could have drilled it out, could have put in a brass bushing, but again, the play was, it felt like it was a lot. But when I started messing with it, it was actually very minor. Um, so the repair that I feel should be just fine for this governor, and then it obviously isn't tight, won't bind anything up. I just basically made some shim strips out of a soda can, well, Red Bull can. And I went ahead and lined it just where the oval was. It's not bolted in yet, so the arm is just sitting on there. The spring is back on, and as you see, there's really no more play as far as that up and down that spring without a uh, little spot being welded but as you see now without even the bolt being on it's very minor play it's just a little bit and everything moves nice and free there's no binding there's no sticking so I only had the tractor obviously running for a little bit um, once the engine was rebuilt it did start up it did run fine didn't see it didn't surge didn't do anything but why I already had the tractor broken down to this level I figured all the problems I've been seeing with everybody with their governors, I'm also going to jump into it and fix it while it's apart and why it's easy to get to. And I'm actually glad I did because the star washer that came off, that goes underneath this nut right here, when I unbolted it, it was falling in pieces. It literally broke in sections all inside the governor. So between that, the spring being bent, tipped back, and then obviously it was a lot weaker than what the spring is on there now with that being wobbled out all these little you know fixes now will just save any issues in the future and again this thing went through 70 years worth of abuse and it did you know it's damaged as far as giving that little bit of wobble so for this tractor now being pretty much used for taking kids on hay rides maybe plowing some snow taking it to shows you know just Using it as a tractor, but very minor compared to what it used to be. It's going to take a long time for it to really wear this back out again. And if it does, and if it gets to the point where that's got a lot of play in it again, 
in the future I'll pop it off drill it out and push in a brass sleeve no big deal so I'm gonna go ahead and finish bolting this on and then I'll show the difference as far as um, the play and all once it's all bolted in actually you know what I'll go ahead and I'll just do it now so star washer go ahead and put that on now the reason I didn't I was gonna use like a nylon shim I was gonna go ahead and put it between these points and then tighten this up but obviously that ain't gonna work because if you go tightening up this unit to take out in this slot by tightening it up well the arms not gonna move so don't go putting any washers in between here and trying to take up that distance if it's that bad to the point where you have to do that go ahead and just drill it out and put in a, uh, a little brass bushing so I'm gonna go ahead and snug this up hold on to the arm and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna grease this thing all up real nice on the inside before I put it back on the tractor so that way all those components aren't dry because this right now it's been brake cleaned and all inside there I got lucky on the rock shaft the rock shaft only has it's a little bit of wiggle from side to side like it's common um, but as far as any up and down movement everything bearings and all everything feels fine on this thing I don't feel any issues whatsoever All right, it's pretty snug. All right, so now that's tightened down like it's supposed to be. As you see, very, very minor. But everything moves as it should, nice and free. So I can hold on to the arm and see. Spring works good, there's no play in it. chalk this up to being done. I'm going to grease this up, get it back on the tractor, and then um, I'll start updating from that point. The front end should be going back on the tractor very soon. I was waiting for the primer to dry. Um, I have that all sandblasted and that's all sitting on jack sands right now. And then once I get that back together, I'll show everybody the update as far as the steering, how good it feels. Thanks for watching.